Hey, Key Bros, what do you say, what do you know? This is the Keeper coming at you from the cave, man, from the cave. All right, today's video is the VR09. Let's do some stuff on it, man. Well, this keyboard is crazy, all right? It's the most quirkiest keyboard I've ever dealt with in my entire life, all right? But on the other hand, it's a pretty damn awesome keyboard, but it's so quirky. This is like my fifth attempt to make a video to show you guys how to do stuff on it, but it changes all the time. There's like no constant. Like, you know, you try to do something and uh, then the next time you try it, then you loop. It's, 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 it's crazy. But you know what? I'm going to show you what I... Well, I know for sure, okay? Well, the first thing, let's, let's get right, take it right from the top. All right, so you got a VR09, all right? And mine's a VR09B. Um, I don't think there's any difference between the two, except mine's got a battery pack. A buddy of mine seems to think that it's got a different OS. I don't know, do you? Um, to me, they pretty much the same um, and also I think it's pretty much the same as the uh, 730 so 730 just got more notes on it all right I don't have one so I can't really tell you tell you too much but here's what I the first thing you should do all right as soon as you get your keyboard or as soon as you're ready to get serious about it make a graph all right so here's the graph all right now as you can tell you got one, two, three, four going across, and then you got a bunch of numbers going down. All right, these numbers going down, these are your banks. So bank A, B, C, or one, two, three, four, and then you hit your next button and you go on. All right, I think you got a hundred storage areas. All right, all right, going across are your registries. All right, so you make this puppy up. All right, why? I'm going to kill you, man. Just be patient. All right. So what you do is you go in the bank one, registry one, and if you like that sum, let, uh, write that sum down. All right. Let's say if you go to uh, registry two and that sum sucks, then leave it blank. All right. Then you go to the registry three. Ah, it's not a sum I'm going to use. Leave that blank. Then you go to registry four. Ah, I like that sum. Leave it in there. So you go through, you know, your first couple of registries. And the reason why is when you create sums, then you know what empty spots you have to toss them in there. Okay? So that's why to do that. So that, you know, say if you just created a sum, okay, I want to put it here. All right? So you know where to put it. All right? Just a little bit of that. All right. Now, one thing about this keyboard, it's very confusing. Um... You know, I owned the uh, the VR760, and I had a VK8. And to me, those are uh, I like those better than this. All right, uh, but this is what what's out there now. All right, but it does sound great. And it does do a lot. All right, but it's the most whoever designed this keyboard. Uh, I like to personally meet and punch him right in the face because you know you can't possibly be this stupid. All right, I mean, it's just, it's it's all over the place, all right? Um, so you, you figure out one thing, but to do another thing, what you figured out before don't apply in this situation, all right? That's like, okay, you can only, uh, my friend Tony, I can only call him on Tuesdays. I mean, it's just stupid shit, you know? Um, but, okay, well, um, one, of the, one of the things is naming a program, all right? I'm like all over the place when, when it comes to naming a program. So I sat down, all right, and I figured it out, and I wrote it down as soon as I uh, figured it out, because, like, um, now, you got, you're up and down, you, to the right of your screen, you have an up and down cursor, all right? Up and down, okay. And then you have your wheel, all right? Now, the up and down, they move your 
cursor left and right. The knob changes the um, uh, the value of that cursor. So if you want to, you're on A. You want to go to B. Just turn the knob, and it will turn it to B. All right. Then you have space and delete. All right. So basically, if you're going to write organ, you would say. You would uh, turn the knob till you get to the O, and then you would hit the down button, and that will move the cursor over. Then you would put the R, all right. Then you hit the down button again and put the G, and that's basically then like if you want to write organ split, then you have to hit space, all right. But it's the cursor still on that. It, it's really weird, but just hit space. Then hit the letter, then hit space again, then it will separate. Really stupid. And, and it's very quite confusing. All right. Um, so, I don't know if you, a lot of you guys are smarter than I am. Yeah, I'm old school. You know, I've been playing, I've been playing keyboards uh, 58 years. So, you know what I mean? That's a long time. And, you know, yeah, yeah. I remember when my hair was black. No, look at it. But anyway, um, okay, so that's the naming thing. All right, now let's get on to the next thing. Um, expression pedal or volume pedal, all right? I'm currently using the uh, the Boss EV5. And to be honest with you, it sucks, all right? I even, uh, and I, I, I bought the pedal to use with my... Uh, uh, I got two of these. I have the Chrome X's, and uh, this pedal was using the uh, 73 X, and the other pedal was using this. A very short sweep, and it just they suck. Well, they suck on the Roland products too. There's a fix for that. And we'll get to that in another video. So, but uh, if you're unhappy with your volume pedal, don't feel bad. A lot of us are. I got a couple other friends who have the same setup as I do. And uh, we hate it. All right, so. Now, there is a pedal. My buddy Danny has a Yamaha pedal. And I plug that into my Chrome. And it works great. It works just like a Hammond V3. It's, you know, nice, nice slope. And you can punch. Wow, you can really punch it. And um, so that, that pedal worked really good. All right, so I was pretty impressed with that. So, will it work good in this? Don't know. I have to try it. So, next time Danny's around, I'll have to try that Yamaha pedal. But these Boss pedals, are, they're not that good. All right. All right, so let's get on to some more stuff. All right. And, uh, now, you know, I'm talking a little bit of crop right now. Even though this keyboard is very quirky, it's a badass. It what it does, it does great. It's just to get it to do the stuff. All right, is you know, it's crazy, and uh, and also now when you go to store a registration, you have to say if you're gonna. I, the easiest way to do something would be, um, you know, I'll tell you what, I've, I've already been here an hour trying to make this video, and this is like the fourth or fifth attempt to make this video, so I'm like rattled, all right, because I'm pretty pissed off, to be honest with you. Uh, is you work out something, then you go to save it, then you, you mess up. Um, so when you go to save a registry, you're supposed to hit the registry button. Make sure you hold the thing down and long enough so the right menu comes up. Because if you just smack it, it's just going to call up that preset. Then you just lost what you've been creating. All right. Now um, we'll get to that in a minute. So, but here's another thing. All right. So you you can program the Leslie on this. All right, so you can control your your top speed of your tweeter, top speed of the, the woofer, your ramp time, and uh, you can even do key click and leakage and all that other stuff. You can do all that. All right, 
But when you first turn the organ on, and uh, and if you guys are like me, you're using the damper pedal to turn the Leslie on and off. All right. Right now, there's no Leslie going on. All right. So if you tap a registry, all right, um, you got to tap a registry that's got an organ that you said. So registry two. Okay, um, so you, your keyboard's off, you turn it on, and then you hit, you bring up organ, and there's no uh, jumper pedal uh, to do that. Uh, bring up, re go into your registry where you have a saved organ, call that organ up, then after that you'll be fine. So if you just type in organ, now I just, I'm out of the registry and I just hit organ. Okay, it's there. So that's how you bring in your Leslie. Um, really stupid. It should be there all the time. And if I'm not mistaken, I think the, even the 760 was like that. Um, so, but um, that's how you basically do all that. All right. Um, now, if uh, for you, you guys, you just or just got this. And uh, you want to sign your uh, damper pedal to um, do the Leslie. What you have to do is you have to go into your menu, all right, hit the menu button, and then you're going to hit controller, all right. So you hit menu, and then you're going to go, it says organ rotary. You're going to go all the way down the controller, all right, and say enter, all right. And then right there, you can uh, damper a sign, and you're going to say rotary fast and slow. All right. So menu controller. All right. And that will take you into that. Okay. And uh, I think I got some. Okay. Um, okay. Name a patch. You're up and downs. Your up and down buttons go, uh, I did this so many times, so I don't even know whether I just talked about this, but uh, I think I did cover a uh, name in the patch, so. Remember, your up and down buttons move the cursor from side to side. The will changes the character, okay? All right, so there's that. All right, now, say if you want to do, um, a good example, say, I have a registry, see, this is what tells you what's in there. Uh, okay, registry uh, two. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, bank one, and, all right, and registry two. All right, which is a Morgan split. Say if you wanted to do, um, you already got the organ split, and you like the Leslie. All right, but say if you wanted to write a program, maybe brass on the bottom and organ on the top, but you want to maintain your Leslie setting. All right, so if you hit right, all right, so basically, we're going to copy Bank 1, Registry 2, and we're going to copy that to Bank 2, Registry 2, all right? So what you're going to do is you hold down the existing sound. So you got an organ split, all right? Follow me? And um, let me say this again because I even confused myself. Okay, we have a organ split, bank one, registry two. So what we're going to do is we're going to write that into another registry. All right, follow me? So what you're going to do is you're going to hold down registry two button. All right, 
so it comes up. Now, I know you can't see the screen, but you know what? Uh, let me give you a little bit of example. And uh, I should be able to just describe this to you. Um, right where it says right registration, you'll see right below it, it will see 1 2. All right, what that's saying is that is bank one, registry two. Now, if you're going to write it, then what you're going to do is you're going to hit the down button, all right? Well, you're going to hit it up, all right? And just keep hitting up until where the cursor is on the one, and you're going to change that to a two, all right? So then you hit it down again, and a two is already set, so, all right? So now, just by doing that, you're telling it to save this keyboard, uh, this sound to bank to registry to. All right, then you hit down again, then you rename it for whatever you're gonna do, all right? And then you hit the right button. And that's how you write uh, where you can copy and paste um, programs from one registry to another, all right? Um, let me exit this and we'll do it again, all right? Um, we'll do it one more time because this is so confusing now. Um, okay, we're bank one, registry two, and what's in there is an organ split, all right? And what I want to do is I want to create an organ split with organ on top and brass on the bottom. But I like this particular split for the top and I like the Leslie because I programmed the Leslie. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this into Bank 2, Registry 2, all right? So you just hold the button of the Registry 2 button down, hold it down until the screen comes up. Write Registration, then it says 1-2, all right? Using your cursor up and down buttons, you're going to um, put the cursor on the one and change that to the two and then we hit the down button again and then you're gonna your cursor is going to be on the second number which is already on two and so it's there right where you want it and then you name it so you can call this brass organ all right split whatever all right and then you hit the right button all right now in the previous attempt I already made this sound, all right? And uh, so we'll just go bank two and registry two. And that's rock organ and brass, all right? And then what we did was we put the brass in and we adjusted the organ. <laughs> Uh, what's really cool about this is you can shift the octave and uh, now see now now the last time I had this up I was able to sh switch the brass octave and normally you do the upper lower and that moves the cursor down but this time it won't do it so let's try there we go. All right, now we can adjust the volume from here. All right. So, now also you have organ piano sim. All right. And uh, I, you know, this thing is it's really crazy. And I, I'm like kind of like wigged out from this, you know. I need to smoke a bowl of weed actually. But. We got, we got rock organ up on the top. All right, to adjust the volume of the rock organ, you need to hit the draw bar that says level, okay? And to adjust the brass, you need to go over to, over to the section that says brass, okay? And you hit the up and down. All right, so the organ is, I've got it, it's overdrived and everything. So the top level on the organ's three, all right? 
and the brass is 12. switches between your top side and your bottom side. All right, so you get used to doing that, but now you have to use your cursor buttons, the ones next to the knob, and now you hit down. All right, so there's no constant, you know, because normally you have upper lower, which puts the cursor on rock organ, then you hit lower, and it drops the cursor down to uh, S F S brass. All right, and but now it don't do that. Now you have to use the up and down button. So there's like no constant. All right, so you have to know this, and you have to know that. And as you can tell, I'm kind of agitated. All right, so um, that's a good example by of having like a brass. Um, and an organ split. B3. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in here. I never did write that. And uh, FS Brass. And B3. On top. Okay. Alright, so we know that. Now, I wonder what's in registry 3. <laughs> Together. I'm not going to use that, but you know what I could use is maybe a nice sax lead. So what we're going to do is we're going to like write a sax lead. All right. So it 
this the board's crazy, but you know what? What it does, it does good. It's just there's no constant. You know, you got your upper lower switch. It's crazy. So okay, so now what we're gonna do. We're gonna hit. Um, all right, so we got brass and all right, so we're gonna hit brass and then we're gonna bring it into blowhard, all right, which I found was the best sax. <laughs> effects knob. What we're going to do is we're going to change that to into uh, bank two, registry three. We'll call it lead sax, all right? So remember, well, when you hit the third button, 
Hold it down. And there it is. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make that. We're going to delete everything. Okay. Now we're going to that lead socks. All right. So we're going to write that in. See, that's where you got goofy. I just hit the thing. You know, it'd be cool if it make a little program um, where you could actually uh, have like a little keyboard you could type all this shit in. Okay, so we have Bank 2, Registry 3, set up for lead sacks, all right? And so then you're going to say right. And there it is, all right? And uh, so we got um, bank, uh, bank 2, and we have... The first pro, uh, program in bank, bank 2 registry 1 is this. Now you guys know how to do it, but it's very quirky because you know sometimes to move your cursor up and down for two sounds is the lower and upper button, but not all the time. Sometimes you have to use the up and down buttons next to your wheel. You know who, who thinks of this shit? You know it's. I'm a Christian, so I, I'm gonna hate to say this, but. I'm not going to say it, but it's effing goofy. All right. So anyway, there's that. Okay. So, so now, uh, so I showed you guys how to copy one patch to another patch. All righty. And how to adjust volumes for each patch. And I have this written out. Okay, now there's another thing I found. Um, now you have organ, piano, and synth sections. But you can also add two sounds from the same section. So like, say if you do, um, I'm trying to remember. I'm looking for, oh yeah, there it is. So. Okay, we got vocal scat, and then if you kick it with uh, maybe brass. So you got vocal scat and blow sax. Or if you do a uh, vocal scat and a pad. So you could also uh, bring that down.
So, you can add two of the same category together. Now, providing what I was trying to do, I thought it would be neat to take a orchestra hit and put that on the bottom and add a brass section on top, like what I did on my crumb, where I got... <laughs> come up with so far. There's a bunch of other stuff I'm going to try to figure out about this. Um, I hope this kind of helps you guys out. I, I am going to try to gnaw off the volume pedal thing. And uh, and also I think it would pretty, be pretty cool to bring this in and put it on top of the B3 and run them both together. So that be I think that would be pretty cool. Through a Leslie. Through the same Leslie. And I have a... Uh, 145 customized Leslie um, with a 300 watt tube amp in it. So that thing kills, man. So um, that's all I got for you guys today. I'm going to go take like a Darvon or uh, some type uh what did Michael Jackson take? I, I don't know. He took some type of drug. He's on to my, because I tell you, man, this keyboard will make you crazy. But you know what? I love it. It's it's a it's a little badass. It's a badass keyboard, and also um, also uh, the other video I made about a um, editor um, that was a customized editor somebody made. The Rollin has an editor out for this too, so I'm gonna pull that one up. And uh, so as I gather up more information on the VR09, I'll be sharing it with it uh, with you guys. Um, drop a comment. Uh, you guys have an idea for video or whatever, let me know. Tell me what you guys think. If I can do it, I'll do it. Um, you know, and also I'm going to try to gnaw up. I'm going to find that there's a, a fix. So maybe if I go in this volume pad, maybe change out. I don't know what pot they put in there, but I know 100K would work great in there. So we'll see what I come up with. Hey guys, Merry Christmas. God bless. See you when I see ya.